just a quick look at a really interesting use of Affinity Publisher. Now, I've been looking at doing templates and I have actually produced a few templates for sublimation printing. Um, you may or may not be familiar with it. It's the printing of images, um, text, graphics, whatever, on the sides of mugs, cups, um, merchandising, um, uh, mouse mats, things like that. Um, now what we've got here though, because I want to try it in Affinity Publisher because it lends itself to keeping things in one place. I've put in the, um, the guides, you can see. Now there's one, two and three sections here. You can see the layers. There's no layers over there yet. But if I go to page one, and there's only one page, that there, the master, is a standard A4 page. Let me show you. Document setup. Facing page 300 um, DPI. Colors is CMYK and there's no bleed. So it's just a straightforward, just a straightforward A4 master page. And I've set the guides in it. View the guides manager. Now there's the guides I've set. Two, and you can see them down there. There's one there, a couple there, and a couple there. These separate these areas here. I could color those gray just for um, effect, but we don't need to. Just close that. Because the interesting thing is, if we go to the pages, let me turn off the images that are there, and you can see that I've got from over here, I've got picture frame rectangles placed in there. Now the good thing about picture frames is that when you place something in them it squishes it down into the right size. So let's have a look at the picture frames here. And oddly enough they pop in back to front. So that one there is the top one. Let me show you how this works. Go to the stock images and I've got trick or treat. So let's just put trick or treat over there. And it pops into place very nicely. Now that would print almost opposite the handle on the side of a, of a 15 or 18 ounce um, coffee mug. Very easy. Now that's up there you can see top layer. And it's in there. Now we want another one. Let's see if we can find another. We want one with um, pumpkins in, do we? Or ghostly figures. There we go. Ghostly figures. We'll place that one over there and just pop it into there. Ghostly figures. Now I don't know if that will print really well on the side of a mug because it's all black with just the ghostly figures in there. But it's just an example to show you where it goes. Now let's do one that's not quite so black and ghostly. Have we got any more in there? Halloween. I think that's all we get in the Halloween samples, but never mind. Let's go and put that one on there as well. There we go. That's quite nice. That'll print around a mug really nicely. And you can see it's just about the same size. It's trimmed it slightly, but not too badly. And that's the good thing about having those, the picture frame rectangular tool, because it pops in your images and makes them look really nice. Now, the good thing about this is you can, you can print out three sheets for that three different mugs or you can three different mug types now you can turn those off and you can turn those ones on see how easy that is you can turn that one off and that one on or maybe not maybe that one there we go and that's how easy it is to use affinity publisher to create reusable templates 
for all of your work in sublimation, silhouette or cricket printing. Now you can have one image on there for t-shirts, uh, depends what you want. You could do another page. Let's add a page. Add a page. After the one we've got there. Now we don't want, do we want it based on Master A? No, we don't want it based on Master A. We don't want it based on any. And there's our next page. And we can put another um, we can put another master in there. Now with the master up here, you can create another master that has a different image on it. Different shape, different size, different anything. But that's probably getting a little too more complex than I want to do at the moment. Pages, just remove that one. Because you'd have to create another master and another page. That's all I wanted to say about that.